Canada has weathered the last storm very well, particularly for two reasons. One, we maintain a better oversight of the financial system in Canada, which means that we've had no bailout of uh, banks or insurance companies. And the other reason is, of course, Canada is a champion at commodities. And we've been doing so very well at commodities around the world. Two thirds of any mining exploration we see in Asia, Latin America or, Ava or Africa is actually financed on the Toronto stock market. What we do have to realize is that if, if Canada is doing so well, it is because we've been able to integrate into our strong commodities uh, expertise a lot of knowledge, a lot of value-added techniques. We know how to evaluate the mind better than anyone else. Our accountants have developed ways of assessing assets and evaluating them. Our lawyers have built all kinds of mining codes around the world and all that. So it is not an either commodities or knowledge. I mean, this is what Canada is all about. That's what we're bringing to the rest of the world. Clearly, globalization has happened a lot faster and a lot deeper than uh, any of us could have thought at the time. However, what was an American globalization through its multinationals around the world is now becoming a real globalization in that the American consumer is less and less the engine of world growth, but more and more this globalization is supported by the uh, trade activities and the investment patterns of China, India, Brazil, and other countries. So it is, a, it, is, it is still globalization, not an American globalization, but a global globalization where we have more engines working in that direction than ever before.